Hey everyone, welcome to part 2 of DLF goes through his credit report and has questions. Now, I wanted to make part 2 because there are certain things I didn't have the time to put into part 1. Plus, we can focus on certain specific things. The number one thing or one of the first things I want to bring up is the Mama Scrunch comments. Because Mama Scrunch doesn't typically leave a comment on a DLF stream unless it's extremely important. So she left this comment. She says on his stream when he's going through his credit report. So who is paying these open accounts? If you don't pay the account, it can't be open. But what does that mean? Or should I rather say, what does she mean by this? Because um, I'm kind of confused here. Does she mean that these accounts are not open? And if they're not open accounts, how does she know they're not open? unless she has something to do with it. It's really confusing. I don't know what she's getting at here. And I thought a lot of these uh, these little blips on his credit report were um, soft checks because he, he had a few things on his, his report. Like I said, in part one, it was the Geico thing, which is a car and home insurance company. Then we had Liberty Mutual, a life insurance company. We had CRB, a firm which is a flexible payment solutions company. And then he started talking to TransUnion. So there's a lot of things he's been going through. And for Mama Scrunch to put this up here, uh, it, it, it makes me think that something is going on. Then let's get back to her dispute with me. So she has this wooby 2 email address, buyer info collector1. And then an, a, a shipping address in Buffalo, which of course is in Lovejoy. And we all know whose house that is. This is why I say with DLF, if you really want to find out if these accounts do exist, what you need to do is call back and maybe uh, try Mama Scrunch's email address rather than yours. Maybe try Mama Scrunch's phone number rather than yours. Maybe try Mama Scrunch's shipping address or home address rather than yours then maybe you could get to the bottom of what is or isn't going on because i'm not saying that something nefarious is going on but i'm also saying or not saying that it's not not going on you know what i mean so all i want to do is have dlf get to the bottom of this situation i mean this all came out or came to light because of this whole dispute that mama scrunch put in and it seems there is a lot of things that we just didn't know about. Furthermore, DLF, we know you have a cat. Come on, stop it. There is a cat bed right there. You have a cat. There's no CGI cat. There's also this. For food and water, we know you have a cat. DLF, stop saying you don't have a cat. It's CGI or trying to make up some story about your mom bringing over one of her cats. It's not happening. Then we have this in the bathroom that is for a cat DLF. Stop it. We know you have a cat. It's not CGI. All you got to do now is just come clean. It's okay. Other than that, what can I say? Once again, do a combination. Maybe his name plus her email address. Maybe his name plus her, her current address. Maybe his name plus her phone number. And then see what matches come up with uh, CRB Affirm, with Geico, and with Liberty Mutual. Because something could or can't be happening. I don't know. But I want DLF to find out. And that's just the bottom line. Because if there, if somebody is using, you know, your, your credit like that, that's not fair. Especially when you don't know about it. Especially when Mama Scrunch has been using his... Or should I say a PayPal address under his name for allegedly 20 years and he didn't know about it. And it came to light when she decided to put in a claim against me. So I wish him the best. And I will update all you lovely people uh, with more info as it comes to me. So smash that like button. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you later. Take care. Have a good one.